Previously, we have seen values on that type and also to assign them to variables. Today, you will learn how to build complex expressions using operators and operands. A statement is an instruction that the Python interpreter can execute. So far, we have seen two kinds of statements, print and assignment. When you type a statement on the command line, Python executes it and displays the result or an output if there is one. The print statement shows an output on the Python shell. On the other hand, assignment statement don't produce a result and do not show any output. Assigning the string Lilienblot to the variable name doesn't provide a result or an output. Printing the variable name does produce an output and the string Lilienblot is shown in the shell. An expression is a combination of values, variable and operator. If you type an expression on the Python shell, the interpreter evaluates it and displays the result of that expression. The evaluation of an expression always produces a value. Therefore, expression can be used on the right-hand side of an assignment statement. A value all by itself is a simple expression, and so is a variable by itself. Evaluating a variable by itself returns the value referenced by that variable. Operators are special symbols that represent a computation, like addition and multiplication. The values the operator uses are called operands. As in mathematics, when more than one operator appears in an expression, the order of, of evaluation depends on the rule of precedence. Be careful. The result of the expression 3 plus 4 times 2 is 11, not 14. The multiplication takes precedence over the plus operator. Operators having the same precedence are evaluated from left to right. In the top expression, 3 times 2 is evaluated first. The result of the evaluation is 6. 6 is then divided by 6, giving a partial result of 1. Finally, the partial result is multiplied by 4, giving a total of 4. In the second expression, 3 times 2 is evaluated first, then the expression between brackets is evaluated to 24, which results in the final operation of 6 divided by 24, which is 0 0.25. As we have seen in the previous expression, parentheses have the highest precedence. Therefore, the result of 3 plus 4 between brackets times 2 is 14, not 11. Use of parentheses is encouraged in long and complex expression. The left-hand side of the assignment operator has to be a variable, not an expression or a value. We mentioned syntax error in a previous video. And if the left-hand side of the assignment is not a variable, then a syntax error is raised as shown in the example here. Expression can be combined to create more complex expression. For example, expression 1, operator, expression 2. A more concrete example will be the first expression being edge times 10, the second expression being eighth in centimeters divided by 100, and the operator being the addition between these two expressions. Complex expression can also be used in the parameter of a function, like the print instruction. Here, the parameter of the function print will be evaluated first with two expressions, doctor plus name and greater than as a string time tr three, and then concatenating these two strings together using the plus operator. Let's have a look at the state diagram and see what happens when several expressions are evaluated in the interpreter. We have already seen that what happens when assigning values to a variable. Next, we have an expression assigned to a variable. The right-hand side of the assignment operator is evaluated first. The complex expression is evaluated piece by piece, starting from the left. 
the interpreter looks for the label first name in the namespace and gets the value it refers to. The operator plus placed between the two strings is evaluated and the partial result is computed. The plus operator between two strings concatenates the two strings, that is, at the string on the right hand side of the plus, at the end of the string on the left hand side of the plus. The interpreter continues to evaluate the expression using the partial result. Again, it fetches the value assigned to the variable last name and adds it to the expression in place of the variable last name. The result of the full expression is now computed. Next, the interpreter is going to do the same operation. The variable name is added to the namespace and the variable name points to the string Lilian blot. When evaluating the variable name, the interpreter fetches the value assigned to it and displays it. Let's look at another expression. This time, the expression looks like a bit strange. The variable name appears on both sides of the assignment operator. Again, the interpreter first evaluates the right-hand side of the assignment and evaluates part of the expression as shown earlier. To complete the evaluation of the entire expression, the interpreter fetches the value assigned to the variable name and replaces it in place of the variable. The expression becomes a simple concatenation of two strings, resulting in the string Dr. Lillian Blot. Now that the expression on the right hand side of the assignment operator has been computed, the assignment operation can take place. The previous memory place might be freed by the garbage collector, and no variable name refers to the string Dr. Lillian Blot. At this stage, you will be able to implement a very simple program, making simple computation and displaying the result. In order to build more interesting program, we will be looking at more complex programming structure called control flow structures. But before we can tackle such control flow structure, we first need to have a look at another data type, Booleans. Boolean and Boolean expression are the subject of the next video.